Um, you sound really angry. What's going on guys? My name is James or thanks see ya and welcome back to another Minecraft mod spotlight and today we are going to be taking a look at the Godzilla mod. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, a couple of things to bear in mind before we start. Uh, it's actually a very early stages work in progress mod. Um, so you know, it's not still, you know, not till finished. There's still a lot of stuff to add and to tweak and to change. Uh, but B, this is just the most crazy idea for a mod that it makes it really, really cool. And it's incredibly random, don't get me wrong. Uh, but that's the reason why I like it, because basically it adds Godzilla into your Minecraft world. <laughs> so, if you want to take a look at him, he's just down there, Jay, chilling. And uh, basically, Godzilla spawns very, very rarely, and he'll just spawn randomly in your Minecraft world. So, the reason why I'm so far away from him is A, he's actually very, very big, B, he's very, very dangerous, and uh, C, he's, he's very, very noisy. So, uh, I'm kind of up here because I've got a few things that I want to show you before we actually go and slay Godzilla. And um, yeah, basically, there's only a certain way that you can kill him straight away because he is super powerful he's super strong he's a big scary dinosaur and uh, there's certain few little bits and pieces that you have to do in order to take this guy down so yeah okay chest number uno so there's one basic crafting recipe that goes throughout this mod and it's kind of the end goal is to create this thing which is an oxygen destroyer now because this guy is so incredibly tough you cannot take him down with normal weapons the first thing you need to do is create yourself this oxygen destroyer to starve him of oxygen to defeat him so how we start off is actually in this corner here with these glass bottles so we just basically make ourselves a full load of glass bottles and we get ourselves from that a bottle of oxygen now this is where it's kind of weird because what you do then with that bottle of oxygen is you you heat it up this 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 means furnace i quite like this it's sort of a moving graphic i, I came up with this other people might do it i don't know but yeah basically you furnace the bottle of oxygen and what you get from that is one micro oxygen cell so this is quite a sort of, uh, a, there's a few steps to this really, and you do need to use quite a few things in order to get it, but it's the only way you're going to take this guy down. So yeah, once you've got your eight glass, uh, nine glass bottles, you've got your bottle of oxygen, you put the bottle of oxygen in the furnace, you get yourself the micro oxygen cell, and then you need to go exploring in the world and find yourself platinum. Now this is one of the new ores that has been introduced into this mod, and it kind of looks like this. It's sort of like a slightly more red version of iron, and uh, this is platinum. It's Fairly plentiful. My voice just went really high then. Fairly. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, yeah, it's fairly sort of plentiful in and around the Minecraft world. So, yeah, this is the platinum ore. Um, so, yeah, well, you get four things of platinum ingots. So, you have to smelt the platinum ore into the platinum ingots. Also, make yourself more micro oxygen cells. Lay them out in a pattern like this with four platinum ingots either side and five like so. And then that'll give you a micro oxygen ball. So then once you've got the micro oxygen ball, you need to get four more platinum ingots and you need to arrange it like so. And then that will finally give you the oxygen destroyer. So this is the thing you're going to need first of all, and it's going dark. One secondo, thank you. Uh, is one, this is the thing you're going to need to take this guy down first time around and probably second and third time. Because what he actually does is he does drop items that are very, very useful. However, um, he basically drops these like super powerful cells and they're used to create this armor here, which is the G set. So you have the G helmet, the G chest plate, the G leggings, uh, the G boots, and you have this thing here called the G sword. Now the G sword is really, really powerful. It actually has the same damage as the... Oh, wait a minute. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it does not have the same damage um, because there is an extra zero in this oxygen destroyer, but it is one of the only two ways of taking him down. You can either use the oxygen destroyer, which is very expensive, or you can craft yourself the G-Sword, and you're going to have to try and get super lucky because this guy does hit really hard. Basically like a one-hit kill. I shall try and demonstrate that later. But yeah, the G-Sword is one of the other ways to take him down, which involves getting the G-Cells when you kill Godzilla. Now, as well as here, that when you actually do kill him, uh, you get Godzilla bones and Godzilla skull. Uh, they don't do anything just yet because as I did mention it is very early stages work in progress. Um, but yeah, it's kind of cool. So anyway, let's go and see what we can do. I will show you. <laughs> Alright, so uh, <laughs> you'll see why I was so far away in a minute. This guy is super noisy. Hello. Oh, he's already started. There's so many pumpkins! Oh, you're all so glum. Okay. So this is quite a decent area for him to kind of spawn in. Sort of a lot of flat land. And the closer I get, 
the bigger he gets. Uh, so, yeah, as you can see, this guy's huge. And he does actually have quite a big range, so you've got to be super careful. Um, basically, what, what, do you know what I'll do? I'll change into uh, survival mode, and uh, basically, when I go and try and hit him, he's, he's kind of like passive aggressive at the moment, so he doesn't like immediately charge you. However, oh, you get 57 levels for killing him, by the way, uh, which is kind of mad. But yeah, basically, if I just try to sort of punch him, kind of give him a punch or whatever, and I'm dead. See, it's, it's, it's hard. <laughs> so, as you can see, it says there, thanks. See, was slain by Godzilla. Which is something you don't normally see in Minecraft. Um, but alright, let's change back to creative mode here. So I'm going to get myself another one of those oxygen destroyers. Now this is quite fiddly, so you're going to have to be a little bit, a little bit careful here. There's like a few areas which are sort of um, advised to take him down. One of the ways is like jumping off something high and trying to get him on the head. I think personally getting him on one of the feet is the best way to do it. So once you get close enough to him, try and hit him with this. Urgh, come on, whoop, there we go. And uh, you'll take him down like that. So it's kind of like a one-hit kill. It's super powerful with the Oxygen Destroyer. But, of course, as you've just seen, it is like, really long-winded to get. And it takes a lot of resources. So what you're going to want to do is take him down a few times. Get yourself G-Cells. Uh, and get yourself the Godzilla Bones and the Godzilla Skull. And then craft yourself those items. Um, like the sword and the, the armor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate one more time. Sort of how long it takes for him to get down with the G-Sword. Uh, spawn another one. Uh, they do spawn randomly, obviously, but you have an egg if you want to. Amazing. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that's about 11 hits with a sword which has 1,004 plus attack damage. So as you can see, really, really tough. Um, but the items are very, very good. You know, the stuff you get is very good. And, uh, you know, the experience is great as well. And obviously, if you're playing in survival mode, it's very, very difficult. Because obviously, he does hit quite hard. And um, you've got to be super careful. Otherwise, he will kill you, as you can see. Uh, so you've got to have your wits about you, basically. But I think it's really, really cool. It's such like a random idea to have Godzilla ro ro like rolling around your Minecraft world. Uh, and I always do like sort of um, you know mods and stuff that are based on sort of fiction and movies and that kind of thing. So yeah, I think it's really, really cool. And I think that this mod could potentially be awesome. What I'd love to see is obviously the items that he does drop, uh, containing more crafting recipes for more unique items. I'd also really like to see maybe some some slightly more random generating bits and pieces um, sort of in and around the world. But yeah, it's a work in progress mod. I think it's pretty damn awesome. Uh, I do like the model. I think it's very cool. Uh, I love the size of it and the power of it. And uh, yeah, if you like Godzilla, you're going to like this mod. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's it for this particular mod spotlight. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, incidentally, if this is the first time you've ever seen any of my stuff, my name is James, or thanks, see ya. And if you'd like to see some more, please consider subscribing to my channel or checking out some more of my content. And if you do, I really hope you enjoy it. I'm going to go and make a Godzilla party. Also, if you enjoyed this video, oh, God. Oh. And you like Godzilla parties, please leave a like on this video. It would be super appreciated by myself. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It has been a pleasure. As always, thanks. And see ya.